Hello, dear Cancers. Welcome to Just Bird Row. This is a collective read for the sign of Cancer. So let's see what's coming up for you, dear Cancer. It's coming in for the sign of Cancer. Fortitude. Do not cede your power to forces that are not in your best interests. As you gain more insight into the role that emotions play, you may improve the world that you live in. So get in touch with your emotions. It's the power of a three being divinely guided here. A fortitude. So get in touch with your emotions and the roles that they play in your life so that you can be at peace and improve the life in which you are living. So let's see what's coming up for the collective for the sign of cancer. What's coming up for the sign of cancer? These seven cards. Well, there's a toxic relationship here, dear Cancer, that you need to get in touch with your emotions so that you can heat this off and clear this energy. Proceed with caution. Someone in your life is very inconsistent and have you on a roller coaster ride. This feels very much like the love reading I did. <laughs> that is you know, uh, and an on again, off again, they come in for a fling thing and that's about it. Some of you need to start focusing on blind dates. Maybe your dating life has been a little bit inconsistent. Maybe because you've been interacting with some toxic people or there could be a toxic person from your past coming back in. Yep, because you're going out on dates and they are jealous. They are green with envy, dear Cancer. Let's see what else is coming up for the sign of Cancer. It's time to forgive. Forgive yourself as well if you've been jealous because somebody else has been blind out on dates, right? Blind dates, whatever. Oh, somebody ghosted. Somebody ghosted and they may be coming back. They ghosted because they are, they were inconsistent to begin with. So they just gave up all the way around. They just, you know, dine and dash, dine and dash, dear Cancer. Oh, you're feeling regret or this person that ghosted you is coming back to ask for forgiveness because they ghosted you. Maybe these are two separate people it could be the same person they could have been inconsistent as well and toxic i'll pull one more from this deck it was a situation ship right there we go the inconsistency the you know the bullshit i'm just gonna pull your crystal and i'll read the crystal card toward the end Let's just see what comes up for the sign of cancer. <laughs> Rose quartz. All right. <laughs> the crystal for unconditional love and forgiveness. So forgiveness is key for your healing, right? And to stay, even if you feel like, oh, I'm completely healed. Um, forgiveness is key for all of our relationships, you know, and for ourselves because, you know, we make mistakes too. We're human. We'll pull one from this deck and then I'm going to get into a couple of more to get further into this story, but let's just pull. Look, it's the law of healing. <laughs> well, the law of healing, but there's also manifestation in this card with that great big, big moon, right? Transform your trauma, transform your life. So it is about healing. Incorporate some rose quartz because this person was toxic. It's time to get in touch with those emotions. Um, yeah, there have been moments of regret, but are they coming back to put you into a situation ship again because they're inconsistent, they're unhealthy, they could be angry and jealous, 
all because why because you started your healing and started to you know figure out like hey i'm gonna start dating and relating and you know seeing where things go with other people why not right dear cancer all right let's get further into the story but for those of you that are still stuck in your pain and the trauma of this broken relationship it really is time to deal with it right you, you feel it which you're doing then you deal with it and then you, you healed from it right where it's no longer an option like this bitch can come back no matter what no matter when you're not going to be put on that roller coaster ride anymore let's see what else is coming up for the sign of cancer sign of cancer Everything is being divinely guided. This is the power of a three. So divine order, right? We have three and then we have the triangle here. Divine guidance is at play. Divine order is necessary, right? That's God's plan, not my plan. It's time to release, letting go, moving on and walking away. Walking away from you know, casual partnerships, because you regret them, right? You regret, maybe you went out, you had a fling, and you realize, well, maybe I'm not as healed as I thought, because I'm still giving it up for that quick fix, that instant gratification, that, you know, moment of feeling loved, when really, it's an unhealthy behavioral pattern. They don't deserve the good stuff. You know, if they haven't committed to you. Let's see, dear Cancer, what else is coming up for the sign of Cancer? It's time to move on. You're walking away, or they walked away. Well, you're walking away because even if they come back, you know that this person's only coming back because they're jealous. Because they, the word on the curb is that you're out there dating and relating, and you're letting people fix you up. Ugh. Or maybe it's like the internet thing, you know? Look, you want this. The bonding, um, the confiding in one another. You want the real relationship. That's what you're building by healing. That's the relationship that you desire. And it's hard because you're letting, you let it go. And it could be someone that you were very tightly bonded with, right? They were a good match for you. At least you were fooled into thinking that, right? Because this isn't a good match, no matter how you look at it. It's not a good match. So you have to get in touch with those feelings and move on and begin the healing, right? The healing. Let me just... Oh, sorry, Cancer. Let me just put this card where maybe you can get something from it. Maybe you'll be able to view it or something. Let's see. Uh, or not. Here, I'll put it up here. That would be better. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little anal about things. All right, good enough, good enough, good enough. Sorry about that, dear Cancer. Let's keep pulling and see what else. Sign of Cancer. Trust your intuition, right? Inner knowing, telepathy, your heart song. Somebody's been pulling on your heartstrings. But it's time to really uh, hone in on your intuition. Start. To, intuition is about trust, right? It really is. It's moon's energy. It's about trusting your uh, yourself, your higher self. Trusting the God speaking within you, through you, throughout you, right? Allow that to speak to you and listen, right? You could be receiving messages from this person because you were really bonded and maybe telepathy, maybe you know they're coming. You can feel them coming. You know they're coming. You're receiving the intuitive hits. You know they're on their way because they've got you on this roller coaster ride. They think they can push and pull you. Shallow, <laughs> yeah, hollow, empty and boredom and that's this person right you have to forgive them for that because they're not completely healed they're not completely whole you know they're not 
They're they're shitbags. I don't know how to put it. They're but big old losers out here, right? And you fall for them. Maybe they're a bad boy. Maybe in the beginning you really did bond with them, right? Maybe m- maybe 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 baby. Oh come on. All right. Let me see. Mirroring one another. The twin thing. The twin flame, twin blame. You know, shared feelings, reflection. And you could feel it, be feeling drawn to this person because you had such a strong tie to them. One day, someday, somewhere, another time. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Maybe the real one's going to come in. Who knows? I wish I just said soulmate instead of twin flame. I don't like giving people false hope that somebody's coming back and they really love you when they don't, they don't even love themselves if they could treat you like this. Right? Look, distance yourself from this person. And, you know, you got one day, but you have to distance yourself from this toxic energy in order to bring a real bond a a real love into your life separation space and blockage there could be a separation and a blockage of your intuition because this relationship really played it really played you right like you're just kind of effed up in the cut let's see call their bluff Don't let them do it to you again, dear Cancer. Pretending, mask, and exaggeration. They could be exaggerating this jealousy, right? Um, Call their bluff. If they come back and they're all, you know, wine you, dine you, and call their bluff. Call their bluff, dear Cancer. Don't let them, don't let them play you out again. All right, let's just see, what does this deck? I'll pull three, four from here. That they belong in a different deck. <laughs> Let's see. And I have another deck that I want to pull out. Um, but it's underneath this camera. So I'm going to have to cut this video for a second. Uh, and just clip it out of the, the video. <laughs> because the camera's going to go all over the place. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Let go of the need to control allow this situation to unfold naturally so don't try to manipulate the situation into getting what you want picked up on this on i did a a cancerian dark side and manipulation is part of that right um it was the card of trickery came out gratitude came out in that reading as well You need to be grateful for the love already present in your life to attract more of it. It's time to really focus on you, dear Cancer, right? Focus on you and family members and friendships and soulmates. We're soulmates with brothers, sisters, friends, um, you know, and maybe you have a soul familiar. Maybe you have a soulmate energy with your animal. I I know I do, but I, bird, the crocket. Leave your fears behind. They're stopping you from, they're stopping this relationship from blossoming. The one, the one day, the one that's coming in, you have to let go of this, this toxic situationship, right? The inconsistent behavior, the jealousy, and forgive yourself and the other person for ghosting you, for treating you badly, and let your fears go right um fears and resentments they really keep us stuck they keep us stuck they keep us hurt they keep us in dis-ease right it's it is a term that they use in recovery doesn't matter 12-step programs what you're recovering from you know you have to let things go um the dis dash ease the discomfort the inside change brings this about but 
you have to let go of your fears and get in touch with your fears and your true emotions. So write it out. Write out your resentments. Write out what angers you and release them. But bring that resentment so you don't stay stuck in the anger and you know the loathing, uh, the hurt. Bring it back to what it is that you are afraid of. Bring it back to your fears so you can release them and get them outside of your body. These are the things that make us sick, right? It's they trigger anxiety and then anxiety triggers, you know, mental illness. Anxiety triggers physical illness, dis-ease. Get rid of those fears and resentments. All right, please, please, please get into the healing. All right. It looks, look, look, deception. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship, right? Where's that mask? The bluff is the mask. There's deception. Someone's hiding. Someone's not being truthful. You know who this is, but this could also be you, all right? It could also be you. Now, I'm just going to give you a message from them, just one card from this deck, and then I would like to get into the divine guidance, all right? Let's see, dear Cancer, dear Cancer. They're a runner. It's the inconsistency. They run, they ghost, they come back, they run, they ghost, they come back. You gotta let it go, release it. What are you afraid of? right? I don't want to run anymore. That's what they say right now until, you know, they come in and they conquer. Let's see, dear Cancer, if I can do this without moving it too much around. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, I apologize. Shake, rattle, and roll. It's just like me. My goodness, I shakes, I rattles, and I rolls. It's just an age thing. You'll you'll understand when you hit my age, dear Cancers. <laughs> Mental pause. Let's see. All right, we're gonna pull four from here. Some good orderly direction. Some good orderly guidance. All right. Declutter. Let go of old items, especially items that are reminding you of this person. Get rid of that negative energy out of your out of your living space. It, it really does affect you. Um, create a new sacred space for yourself. You know, and if you just can't let things go because you're a sentimentalist or something pack them up and give them to a friend and get them out of sight right put them out in the shed or the garage or something get them out where like on a cold winter's day you're not going to be snuggling up and using them as your fire your flame your warmth okay it's time to move on endings that bring healthy new beginnings healthy healthy new beginnings dear cancer are underway for you balance juggling too many things at once so it's it maybe that's what you've been doing to you know putting yourself into a state of avoidance so that you don't have to deal so you don't have to feel so you don't have to heal right um and putting things off and just filling your life with other things maybe you threw yourself into work a lot of us do right but what if what if you were throwing yourself into these situationships you know spreading them open far and wide just for anyone to enter don't do that to yourself you it you'll stay stuck in the in the hurt and the trauma a whole lot longer if you if you continue to act out on um neg negative behavioral patterns right here we go self-awareness tapping into your higher self questioning routines and patterns just like what i was saying dear cancer all right let me read your rose quartz card this is the crystal for unconditional love and forgiveness 
it is love harmony right the vibration is extremely high i'm wearing i'm wearing a rose quartz right now i have black obsidian in order to balance things out you know and it helps to bring deep rooted trauma and behaviors to the surface so you know i like to balance that out because you you know mental pause <laughs> All right, so compassionate rose quartz carries unconditional love and acceptance, bringing deep emotional healing and promoting the self-love that is essential before love is accepted from others. The stone teaches that unconditional love does not mean sacrificing yourself. It creates appropriate boundaries allowing someone else the space to be who they are without trying to force change, but not being overwhelmed when they are less than perfect. Rose Quartz heals heartbreak. Heartbreak, disappointments, the no-show, the inconsistency, uh, and grief, the loss of letting someone that you loved go. Oh. Rose Quartz heals all of these things. It encourages self-forgiveness and absolution for those who have apparently wronged you, revealing their role in your soul plan. The beautiful stone invokes self-trust and enhances self-worth. In your body, it affects circulatory and respiratory systems. In your spirit, it strengthens insight, assists with clairvoyance and telepathy. You had telepathy over here, okay? Um, pink, usually translucent, may be transparent and sometimes tumbled. You will find a rough rose quartz, a natural rose quartz, a clear rose quartz, or, you know, a polished rose quartz. So I hope and wish you all the best in in your path to healing and from your traumas and to getting it together and really embracing um, the process. Don't forget to write out your resentments and anger and release your fears. Okay, dear Cancer, many blessings to all of you. Bye.